Hi, ah, hello, welcome to Dusty Shop. Where bad decisions are rapid and planning is lacking. So, don't do what we do. Well, you could try it. Have fun with it. You know, do the YouTube stuff. Click like and subscribe. Alright, thanks. Alright, Circus Go, so here, here's the truck. Alright. Uh, skin in a Ford Part 2. So, it is yeah, she's a she's 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 in good shape I ride it away let it go but the only bad thing is is right inside the skin we have different body lines yep and good depth door so, me and George are going to come out here, and we're going to strip these sides off, this thing, and uh, uh, both, both sides got to be stripped off, that side in there is going to be stripped off that truck, or that bed, and we'll put the side, this, these sides on that tub, so that when we go to mount the tub in there, the tub's good, on the other bed, this tub is shot. The, the, the panels, these panels are in better shape. Remarkably enough, they're not rusted. Don't seem to be rusted out. So, pretty good shape. So, we we'll these panels. So, me and uh, me and George, like I said, we're going to strip all this off. So, it's time to I should do a quick video. The structure has nothing but the the bed tub in it and uh, no fenders and then we'll uh, start transporting them over transferring them over to that other bed get that started going and then uh, give it a shot let's get the shiny black paint on it yep okay so here we go you we've already seen me do this once so me and George are gonna do both sides like I said Alright, so I guess go. So here we go. I am back on the uh, Ford bed there project. Get in the old Ford. So I got this skin off the truck itself. It's all off. Ready to go back on. Did some cleanup paint underneath here. Um, I put some stop rust stuff on there. This should help protect. This is kind of getting a little bit of surface rust, but it's in still good shape. So. Um, I just want to clean up this uh, up here a little bit, a little bit better, maybe. It's kind of beat to hell, which doesn't surprise me. The truck gets used as a truck, so it's not a show car. But I'm going to try to straighten this up a little bit more, and then we're going to stuff this on, uh, set this over there on the uh, the bed itself. I got a brand new fender for the driver's side. So we got to pop and put the mount the fuel door mechanism or the mount bracket on the new skin and then get it prepped and uh, get it ready to go on the truck. As you can see, the shop is just full. So I bought some new toys. Uh, I need to find a home for them, kind of get some room in here because, man, this place got small in a hurry. So, all right. Okay. <laughs> you serious? Okay. I think mean, I'm going to try to call that about as good as that old top the bed frame face is going to get. So, I said, there ain't much in the body work tools. Hammers, whatever straight surface you can find and knock the hell out of it. So, all right. Hang this right here. I'm not trying to put it on. I gotta, I'll put an epoxy right here, through here, keep the mud and crap from 
eating the bed up. So and then I gotta heat the side of the I didn't wash this thing. Yep, went straight to stripping. So okay. So there's the other part of the bed. There's the door. So I need this. Clean it up. Get it on there. The, the new fender, as you can see, I removed it off the ruddy, rusty, the rusty old fender. So set that there. Okay, here's the magic. Brand new foam forward. That's why we couldn't use the other fender that we had on the truck bed because it doesn't have this wonderful body line. And I just thought it would look just as dumb as, as all could be without it. So, oh, there's more stuff. Tire machine stuff. Plates. Put that over there. Oop. A little rough. Okay. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Got a damn dent in it. Boy, that shit's seen some better days, ain't it? Okay. Yeah, it's a little cold. A little chilly out today. Right near, right now here in Texas. So, most people that, most people know that already. Made in the USA. Hmm. Huh. Alright, huh. huh. look at that. Alright. Let's get this thing off here. Time to do some shop cleanup. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna make some Crayola marks on here, so I know about where to put it on the other one. I just want to get it on the other one. Alright, kind of rough. I think I'd be, you know, not perfected. Obviously.
Well, sometimes as you can see, it's just too jacked up. You gotta get out. You gotta get on a little pilot spot. Kind of hold it, hold everything in place. So. Okay. Man, look at that. Take the time. Let go. Yeah, I managed to run out of room. I got a lot of junk. Ah! It's all good stuff, though. All good stuff. Okay. So. Put it that way. Down there. We're gonna put our heat to there because we're doing sheet metal now. And it doesn't have to be all that, you know, it don't have to be all that. Not for sheet metal. Blow holes to this stuff. Alright, sports fans, I'm going to set you up so you can watch, but I can work, and yeah, we're going to do that, because uh, I'm going to plug weld all them holes, and then uh, paint this thing black, and uh, I'll probably coat this whole, I got some rattle can black, I'll, because this is just primer. So I'll go in here and I'll just give it a, just a little bit of uh, whatever I got, black paint, right I can, for in here, just give something extra, even though the others aren't, but I will. So, alright, stay tuned, hang on. Alright, check this going, so here we are. Should be good to go. Machine set right. Okay, we uh, I just welded this up. So <clears throat> perfect. Nothing on the skin itself. So. We are magnificent. Yep, we are magnificent right now. So, I'm going to let this cool down. It shouldn't take too long because it's cold outside today. And then, uh, uh, 
I'll kind of run a lap disc over it just, to, no, just for my own personal reasons. Don't need to, but I'm going to put a little lap disc on it, kind of knock it down, clean it up a little bit, make it smooth, and then paint it. So, um, this thing will be ready to install. Next thing we've got to do now is we've got to roll that truck bed around and get that other skin on it. So we've got this side hanging here, just kind of hanging out. So, but, yeah, we, uh, so, uh, we'll take the bed. like so. Now we've got plenty of room to work on it. Well, we've got some room to work on it. Kind of careful. I don't need to grab it by the bed here. Make it a little, little moobly. So, I'll disconnect that. I'm going to get this off. And then, uh, I'm going to leave this on there. Take the fill neck off. Leave all this stuff in there. And then I'll be hanging it on the wall for now. All right, so take a little break and then uh, I'm off to the race as we go. All right, circuit scores. So here we are, we're looking at the brand new fender. I got to drill out some holes in it so I can, because I don't have a spot welder, so I'm going to plug weld the fender back on the truck. So a little blue dust. That's where I gotta drill it. So, no better time than the present. Find a drill bit and the drill. Make it happen, Captain. So, that's a light. sure about that. <clears throat> Alright folks. Let's do it. Pretty boring. on the drill holes. Am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? Part of it. Clean everything up, start getting it fitted, and then I gotta go get some glue, like I said before, and we'll put some glue in it. Oh, 
once I put the glue in it, I had to get ready to roll. Stop. I'll do a quick test fit and then pull it back off. Kind of get my clamp somewhere I want them. nice thing about it being kind of cold out is we'll take that glue a while to set up so I got some room time to get everything kind of lined up where I want it clamp down and then we get after it so I've been keeping the glue in the house because well obviously it's cold so let me go grab it and yeah, we'll get after this mess. Get this fender welded on today. See, probably won't get that other one welded on. I'll get it spun and in place, but gotta keep pushing. I'm gonna get this both of these done this week. And uh, get this thing all rigged up to paint. Get it warm in here and I gotta do the tailgate, which, yeah. You know, I need to drag that inside. Let's go get the tailgate. Got the tailgate. Got a dent there, got a dent there, dent there. It's got some spots. And of course, the plastic is just gnawed. And these tailgates are heavier than hell with all that crap in it. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to make a run to go get some body fill. Because I think I'm out. Just ugly. Oh well, get it cleaned up, get it painted. All right, I'll take a quick break. Go get the epoxy. Let's get after this thing. All right, so let's go. So here we go. Uh, I've got it all in here and it is clamped up. Uh, I put the little epoxy stuff on there to try to give her as much help as I can. A couple screws here and there to suck all the metal up close. So we will start. Start welding. Yes, we will. So, skins are not overly complicated. It's just got to get her done. So, like I said, uh, it's in here. Did you see, there's like a clamp everywhere. Just double checking everything. Yep, yeah, I'm not where I want to be. Those are all the plug welds we got to do, or I got to do. And then we get to repeat over there, but this side's already drilled out from when I took it off the other bed. So that's no big deal. This side had to be drilled, and then I got to start plug welding it. Get down plug welding it, and then we'll put a little, uh, Little body fill over it and make it all look smooth and pretty and then uh yeah she'll uh a little layer of primer over this outside skin because we'll get some marks in it from like here from where we welded clean all that up but there shouldn't be anything out here we'll see and then uh yeah well hopefully like i said we'll be painting on her by week's end get this thing done the first layer of black on it and then, uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, all right, so I'll put y'all off to the side, and I'm going to get to, uh, you know, welding, yeah, so pick an end start.
All right, I don't know if I can get y'all down here low enough to see this magic. Okay, circus goers, so here we go. This is, this bad boy is on there. It should all welded up. We just gotta do a little bit of, uh, you know, buffing on it, cleaning up, a little cleanup work, but uh, put the brace bars in it. But as you can see, man, she's solid. Okay, uh, you know, no weld burns in the actual part of the truck the world is going to see, so, so I'm just going to clean this up, put a little gray primer, let's record a little primer, a little sticky primer, it's got primer, but i got a couple spots I need to clean up while I'm doing all this, so, um, yeah, i got to do the other side, which we've already went through this, so no need boring the hell out of everybody with, uh, you know, watching it one more time, it's the same, same thing, just the other side, nothing, Nothing changes. So, all right, well, um, next time we come around, I guess, we'll be doing body work. So, well, yeah, we're doing the body work on this thing, so, or actually, there ain't much body work to do. So, next time we do on this, we'll be, uh, we'll be painting this, this girl. So, all right, well, Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next episode of Skin in the Ford. Alright, thanks.